Hey, it's your boy Jason. How y'all doing? Sorry, it's been a while since I posted my last video, but I hadn't been feeling too well. But now, I feel pretty good. So I want to share some interesting information with you guys. Today, I want to talk about goals. I know it's pretty much the same as common sense and self-esteem and the other videos I made. But I want to talk more about um, actually achieving your goals. I made a video on how to obtain power. And I said it had a lot to do with people. That's the video before this one. Well, this video I want to talk about actually achieving your goals. Now, I believe that uh, you can achieve anything you want if you concentrate on it hard enough. Meaning, if you have a clear mind, you try to remain positive, and you put that energy out there, you draw what you want to you. The law of attraction, uh, you can call it praying, you can call it whatever. It doesn't matter, it's all the same thing. I had always been thinking about this for years. I even actually, my sister recommended me watching this video called The Secret, and uh, it looked like a bunch of bull at first, but after I got into watching it, um, it kind of reaffirmed everything that I knew, or that I had already came to the conclusion of in my mind. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you guys a story. I have two brothers. Um, I'm sorry, I have two sisters and four brothers, so it's seven of us total. <sighs> my brother, he um, he wanted a car really bad. Uh, 2008 Maxima. I took him like to many dealerships to try to get him to buy a car, uh, try to get loans and stuff like that. But his credit was enough for his income didn't match yeah, debt to income ratio. It was always a problem. So I asked him. I say, Hey, what do you want? He said, Well, I want a rear wheel drive car. That's a stick shift. It's kind of luxury and has a lot of options. It's also fast. So I told him, I. Said, you know, I remember I had co-signed on the car, Toyota Camry, for my sister back in the day. And uh, it was at this place called Import Autos here in St. Louis. So I told him, I said, hey, why don't you get a BMW? I said, they're fast, they're luxury vehicles, uh, stick shift, rear wheel drive cars. They're real nice. So he, he started getting interested in those, and then uh, he ended up uh, trying to purchase one. Now, I took him over all over St. Louis to different dealerships trying to get him this BMW. And no matter what we did, we couldn't find it. He had purchased a Grand Prix. I believe it was Pontiac Grand Prix, like 2002, 2003. My, it, was, it was all right, but it was a junk car. It was messed up. So, I told him. Oh, Garfield's trying to come in a video. Come on in, Garf. Garf wants to be in a video. Yeah, my room's kind of dirty, see, I had to forgive me. That's Cece. She wants to play with Garf. Hey, Garf. So, yeah, I'm going to let them play around. My room's a little dirty, so don't pay any attention to that. Anyway, so one day, my brother, he had given up on purchasing a vehicle. So he was like, he was basically like, I don't even want to buy a car no more. Then he got a phone call from this dealership. This guy was like, hey, I got a BMW for you. Come on down. He went down there to check it out, and uh, the BMW was way better than all the ones we had seen before. Uh, it was really nice. It just had so many more options on it, and it was about three, I say it's about three to six thousand more dollars than all the ones we had looked at. So my brother really didn't think he could get it. Now, I remember back in the day when he had the Grand Prix, I sat and talked with him for a long time. I said, hey, if you keep a clear mind and you focus on what you want and you work towards it, whether you obtain it or not, when you think about it, you're going to attract it to you. You're going to attract it to you with your mind. So I told him, I said, keep focusing on what you want and you're going to get it. So this guy contacted him. He went down there. He didn't have the money or anything. His car was a salvage car when he bought it. The guy let him trade it in for like $3,000. And then he, I don't know how he did it, but he, he worked in a loan 
to get my brother this car. And he has it now. Not only that, I was going to school to try to get a job. My brother got interested and he joined the same school. He graduated before me. So soon, my brother's going to be bringing in more money than any one of my brothers or sisters or my mom. All because he wanted to. All because he he thinks about his goals and he keeps focusing on it. So he attracts it to him. So what I want to tell you guys is, if you're thinking about something, are you thinking about anything that you want that you can't get or you feel like might be trouble getting, don't think about what you can't do. Try to focus on what you can do. Never think that there's something you can't accomplish because we weren't designed that way. Look at all the celebrities. Look at all the people who are on top. People keep looking at them and they give them such high praise. Beyonce, Jay-Z, you know, Obama and all that. But you got to think they're people just like us. Just like me and you. They pay taxes like me and you. We all can do the same thing. We all have the same thing in our body. Flesh, brain, blood, bone. We all can accomplish the same thing. So me, I'll tell you something about myself. I have always accomplished what I wanted. And I would have gotten a lot further if it wasn't for this uh, car accident that kind of uh, messed up my body a bit. But that soon that will be corrected. But me, every goal I ever set, I've accomplished. But guess what? I have a lot more goals. I'll actually even go as far as showing you what they are. You can judge or whatever if you have a problem or you think it's funny or inaccomplishable or whatever. I don't know if that's a word, inaccomplishable. <laughs> if it can't be accomplished or whatever, just post a comment. I'm sure other people who see this video will be interested in hearing or seeing your opinion. I know I am. Alright. Let's go on to, to my goals. I'm going to um, actually show you guys because me, usually I have a picture in my mind and that's been good enough so far. But now... Since I have absolutely nothing, I've actually, I've actually made a diagram on my wall. So every day that I wake up in the morning from my bed, I can see on the wall the goals that I want to obtain. And hopefully, if I keep seeing these images enough, it'll be on my mind, and I will attract my goals even faster. Does that make any sense? All right, let's move on to the wall. There's my wall. All right. At the top. At the top, it says my goals. Can you see that? My goals. Under it, I have various images. You can see the images. And right here, I have a list. Let's go through the list. Some of them might seem weird to you. You might be like, what the hell is that? It doesn't matter. I'll just explain it to you. And then you can see for yourself and make up your mind what you think is stupid or not or whatever. It doesn't matter. But subscribe, dislike, or like, or whatever. And leave a comment. First one says, choose or get chose. What does that mean? Uh, me choosing a girlfriend or a girl choose me meeting somebody so as you can see I have a picture up there it says I choose you it has a picture of a girl I'm not a stalker but if you look close you might you might see who that is <laughs> but yeah second goal my second goal is to get 300 million total upload views in partnership with YouTube so there's a picture right here Look at that, that's my channel. I have a picture on the wall and it shows that I have 300 million total uploaded views. That's not actually what it is right now. I actually uh, made this picture from my profile. Okay. The next one says, obtain, obtain each vehicle cash. You know, I don't believe in loans and stuff. You're already going to have enough bills in your lifetime of paying taxes and stuff. So I want to get each vehicle that I want. Cash. Okay. 
these are each vehicles that I like. That's my favorite vehicle. I want to get that one. That one might be the cheapest. This one's the next one. And this one is going to cost the most. I'm going to get that last. Okay. Purchase my first home cash. Okay. So I got a picture of the house right there. Purchase my first business property cash. And then over here you see a picture of a building that says my first business on it. Okay. Establish a source of residual income. Residual income, that just means money that comes to you that you don't have to work for. So again, that's a business. Let's see. Establish a legal way to live tax-free. There's ways to do that. Look that up online. Create a first, my first free energy device. And here you see an example of a magnetic motor or magnetic propulsion motor that functions by itself. It requires no energy to produce en energy. So it just produces 100% free energy. Look that up, free energy online. The next one would be create a second business, you know, purchase a second business property and a second source of residual income. So then again, we go back to the business right there. All right. Find a way to distribute the free energy devices. So after I create it, I want to find a way to get my design out to people and distribute it to people so people won't have to pay for electricity or gas anymore. Help my family with their temporary goals. I want to create a clean water source in at least one small country that doesn't have it already. So then I have a picture of the world right there. I'm going to do more research and try to figure out what place I want to try to hit up. You guys might have heard about the about Haiti and how those people have trouble getting water and stuff where they're not the only place. There's a lot more places where people need water. Okay. Permanently end starvation in one small country by producing farmland and, and having like some sort of economy development program. So then again, that's why I had a picture of the map on the, on the wall. There's places where people are starving and stuff and I don't believe in giving a man a fish. You know, you gotta teach them how to fish so they have fish forever. So I feel like if I go in there, spread the word, um, uh, pour money into developing things and turn it over to the people they'll be able to take care of themselves. Second one, the last second the last one is kind of stupid, but I want to grow my hair out so I can have braids. I've been growing it for a couple of years now. I want to grow it a little bit longer. Then the final one says, I just want to live my life after I accomplish all these goals. I just want to, I just want to live my life. You know, travel, do lectures and tell people how I got to where I got, vlog, etc. So that kind of gives you an overview of what I'm doing right now. This is something I've always been doing. I've been working hard since age 14, which came to a screaming, it came to a screeching halt um, when I was 26, when I was in a car accident. All right, 25. I'm 27 now. So hopefully by my birthday at the end of this year, December, um, I'll be back on my feet and on my way to accomplishing these goals. So, you guys let me know what your goals are, what you plan on doing, what's important to you, what's not important to you, what you think you can and can't do if you need somebody to talk to for motivation. I mean, you can always inbox me. You can ask me questions. I can give advice. I'm always up for giving advice. I give advice on relationships, uh, financial advice whatever whatever you think you may have a problem with just talk to me i might not know everything but i do have i think some good insight on some things so comment subscribe like dislike it doesn't matter everything's welcome but what does matter is that you have a nice day all right